Here we go. Alright guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a beauty room and makeup collection tour. I did this about a year ago on my channel and I really like doing these videos because I like seeing how far my makeup collection has come and how my makeup collection is growing and if I still have like this product or that product or if I got new makeup in. I don't know. I just like going back to these videos and always just it's memories and I really enjoy it. This isn't gonna be my beauty room forever. Like me and Matt are eventually gonna build a house and I'm gonna have a way bigger beauty room, but this is a very good start and I'm very thankful to have this beauty room in my life. But I wanted to tell you guys that I am playing a pause on my YouTube channel because I just have so much going on in my life right now and I really just need to focus on my family and my friends. I don't get to see Matt as much as I want to, and when I do get to see him, I have to be recording or editing my videos or something like that, and I just never get to spend time with him, so I am not sure when I'm gonna come back to YouTube. But I just wanted to update you guys because I have been gone from YouTube for like two weeks now, and I'm posting this video, but I'm not planning on coming back anytime soon. So I will miss you guys and I love you and I thank you guys for your support. But I just gotta do what's best for me right now. But with that being said, if you would like to see my makeup collection and organization, then of course, just keep watching. All right, so you guys have recently seen the top of my vanity. I just did a whole tour of it, so I probably won't go through it like as much as I did before. But I will still kind of skim through it in case you haven't seen that video. So let's start over here. So this is just a decoration cup. I'm going to get out of the way. But right here, I just have some lipsticks some perfumes, some lip glosses. In this drawer, I have two Artist Couture loose highlights and then my ColourPop bronzer in Poolside. In this drawer, I've had this forever. This is the Laura Geller Color Brilliance Lipstick Trio. I believe it came out for like a holiday, but I just love the packaging. I think it's so cute, it has stars all over it, so I just keep it in here. This next drawer is basically my MAC blushes. I also keep the Venti Beauty highlight and how many carrots in here. And then I have these Hard Candy Turn Me Matte Drops. I've never used those yet, but in case I do want any foundation to be matte, I will be using these. And then the last drawer, I just have some almost every single day products. I have the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette, a Hard Candy Single Shadow, DLS Single Shadow, my Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Berlay, my Tried and True, I love this. A Physician's Formula Butter Highlight in Pearl. Then I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party, which I think I got for my birthday. And then the e.l.f highlight in white gold but i forgot at the top of this little organizer i have these two products which i really love this is the fenty beauty highlight in lightning dust and fire crystal so beautiful and then the sephora winter flush blush palette and then over here i just have an empty candle jar and i keep all of my dirty brushes in here you guys would have recently seen this because i just did a video over how to clean my dirty brushes so i keep those here and i got this from hobby lobby matt actually made me this i just put little fish tank beads in here and then three branches that are gold and some lights and he put it all together i just had to pick it out i love this and then this is where i keep all my clean brushes i have a lot of them this is not it but they're just like kind of my everyday brushes and i got this at walmart 
And then over here I have this mirror and Matt actually purchased this for me off Amazon. And then in this container I got this from Hobby Lobby and I keep my eye brushes all right here. And then in this middle section I just have a whole bunch of tools. I have my eyelash curler, I have some tweezers, I have just some random things in here, some spoolies. And then in this last section I have just my eyeliners. Then back here I have some blush palettes like the Morphe blush palettes. I love these so much. They are in the old packaging though. I have a Sephora palette. This has a bunch of blushes in it. I got it for like their holiday collection a few years ago but I also have two Anastasia glow kits. I have the Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette. And I'm pretty sure we got this in a boxy charm. Then my Flower Beauty highlight. I have my famous Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I use this all the time. Like, look at that. I totally hit pan on this one shade. And then my Catherine Lights Highlighting Palette from Makeup Geek. The Revolution and Soap Highlighting Palette. This is a go to highlighting palette for me. Then I have my favorite Smashbox Kelly Contour Kit. I love this so much. I actually use this for my wedding. And then I have these two organizers. I keep the ColourPop Supernova Shadow in these. I love the ColourPop Supernova Shadows and I like to display them. I think they look so beautiful. So I put them in this little lipstick holder that I got from Amazon. And then I have all my eyeshadow primers in here. I have a bunch. I just have some Kathleen Lights collabs, like her Dream Team lip bundle, and then her Luxe lipstick, and then just another ColourPop Luxe lipstick. And then in these two drawers are my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Liquid Lipsticks, and then in the two bottom ones are the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks and the ColourPop Lip Glosses. And then right beside that, I have my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I love these palettes so much. And then just her brushes behind here. And then I have this candy jar that's filled with brushes. And then I have my TV right here. So that is pretty much it for my vanity right there. If you'd like to go more in depth, I will have my vanity tour listed down below. And then over here is this really pretty like nightstand that I got at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love it. And of course I just have to put makeup related stuff on it. So I have two books. I have my little panda speaker I got from Amazon. Then I have this Mac bag because that's the very first time I ever went to Mac. I have a whole bunch of Morphe brushes right here. And I just put it in an empty candle jar again. But otherwise I just have like random decorations right here. In this drawer I actually have all my sunglasses. To me I have quite a few but I love my collection. I think I have a little bit of everything. I have aviators. I have different style. I don't even know what you would call this style but I think it's kind of cool. But I'm actually starting to like really buy Sojo's sunglasses because I do have a discount code with them. I will have that linked down below as well. But I'm only recommending the brand because I really do love their sunglasses. And they come with a case which is really cool. But they are so affordable. I love the quality and how many different choices you can purchase on the website. Alright and then say hi to Finn. He's just chilling on my futon. That's normally where the dogs go when I'm in my beauty room. But that is just my futon that sits behind my camera or right across from my desk. And then right by my futon I have just a few extra containers. In these two containers I just have random Bath & Body Works products. And then above that I have my necklace holder. Which I'm pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx like a really long time ago. It's supposed to be like a coat rack but I put my necklaces on it. <laughs> And then right inside this door, I have my shoe closet. So just boots, tennis shoes, sandals, flip-flops, whatever I need for all year around. That is where I keep my shoes. Alright, so when I was explaining my desk, I forgot to go into these 
drawers and also with these drawers right here so I'll do that right now can you see Maverick underneath my desk this is Maverick's go-to place but in the first drawer I have my setting sprays and I have some makeup sponges back here and I also keep my fan because who doesn't have a fan anymore when they are trying to dry their face from setting spray but I have just a whole bunch of different ones. I have Too Faced Peach Mist. I have, this is a MAC Fix Plus bottle, but I actually put water in it and it works the exact same. And then I have the Urban Decay D Slick. I have Morphe, which I actually have a backup of Morphe because it's one of my favorites. And then I have the ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray, one of my other favorites. If you have oily skin, you need this in your life. I have the Urban Decay B Slick Prep Priming Spray. I haven't used a lot of these. I pretty much only grab my ColourPop one and my Morphe one, but I do have other kinds like the Hard Candy Matte Setting Spray. I have the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. I have one by Flower Beauty. This is by Cinegens. Then I have a Roma one and a NYX one and I think we just got a couple like in BoxyCharm but that is all my makeup setting sprays. Now for my sponges back here I'm obsessed with the Juno sponge. This is actually a brand new one. Then I have a brand new Morphe sponge. This is the Eco Tool sponge and then the Real Technique sponge. Those are my go-to beauty sponges. I love them so much. Now this next drawer might be a little bit overwhelming because it is my foundations and loose powder drawer. I have a lot of foundations, guys. It's, it's a lot. So I'm not gonna go through all these because we will be here for a zillion years, but you can see that I have like the Too Faced Peach Perfect. I have my favorite Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. I have It Cosmetics. I have a couple of the Dior Air Flash foundations. I have the Becca Ultimate Covered Foundation, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So I pretty much have to lay down my taller bottles because they will not stand up, otherwise my drawer will not close. Then I have my three Tarte foundations. This is the Tarte Found Sealer, the Tarte Face Tape, and the Tarte Shape Tape. I love them all. I think they all do a little bit different things, but I love them for different reasons. I have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I'm almost out of this, but I love it so much. Then in some squeezy tubes, I have the Revlon Candid Foundation, the Revlon Full Coverage Foundation, the Becca Evermatte Shine Proof Foundation, Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation, the Morphe Foundation, some Mary Kay foundations. And then right by it, I have the Hourglass Vanish foundation, which is really good to me. I believe this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear foundation. Another CoverGirl foundation, which I really like. I have two ColourPop foundation sticks right here, depending on my shade or I mix them together to get my shade. I have the Maybelline Super Stay foundation, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, the Huda Beauty Foundation, Physicians Formula, two ColourPop liquid foundations, two Revlon Color Stay foundations, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which I have been obsessed with. I got a lot of foundations, guys. It's a problem. I keep purchasing more foundations for some reason, and I actually just purchased the new Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation because... I just felt like I needed a new foundation in my life and this was new so I purchased it. Now to back up this drawer even more, I got my loose face powders. So I have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder right here. This is one of my favorites even though it's a pricey penny, it's really good. Then I have the Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder the Becca Hydro Mist Setting Powder, Fenty Beauty Powder. I love this. I have it in the shade Butter, and it's so beautiful to set underneath my eyes. Then I have the Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder, which is really good. I have been obsessed with this Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. I am literally almost finished with it. Like, look at that. I've never finished off like a 
powder before, so that's amazing. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, which is really good. I have the Airspun Loose Setting Powder, a Milani Loose Setting Powder, just a lot of loose setting powders, guys. I rather have loose setting powders than pressed powders. I feel like they are easier to apply and I feel like they set my makeup a lot better. So I am addicted to foundations and loose setting powders, but that is that drawer. And then in this last drawer, I have my big eyeshadow palettes. I think I cherish my eyeshadow palettes the most because I feel like every single one is different and unique in its own way and so I really just cherish my eyeshadow palettes. So I have the Life's a Drag palette right on top. I love this palette so much. Then I have the Blood Sugar palette which is also an amazing palette and um, look at that packaging. That's amazing. And then here is my newest purchase. It's the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. Oh. Then I have these two palettes. They are from Colored Rain. I just got these and I'm so excited. I used this one once. It's so perfect. I love the formula and this is what this one looks like. I think it's a little too big. They could just like totally kept this one out of here and make it a little bit smaller, but it is really beautiful still. And then this is what the Colored Rain eyeshadow palette looks like. Those colors are like right up my alley. I love this palette so much. Then I have the Tarte Toasted palette and the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. And then here are all my Too Faced palettes. So I have the regular chocolate bar palette, the clover palette, the peach palette, gold chocolate palette, I think that's what it's called, the white peach palette, the gingerbread palette, and then these are all my ABH palettes. I think I have every single one, maybe except for two really really old ones but here is the prism palette the soft glam palette the modern renaissance palette subculture palette norvina palette sultry palette riviera palette and the new Alyssa edwards palette which i have not used yet but it is stunning and then the rest of these palettes are all by christine dominiques i have all four of her palettes and then back here I have a lot of my taller palettes, so I have the Makeup Revolutions and Emily Edit palette. I have the two NYX palettes, this is the Modern Dreamer palette and this is the Swear By It palette. I have used this one so much, but I actually just purchased this one so I've not used it yet, but look at those colors. They are beautiful. And then I have the Lorella on the Edge eyeshadow palette, which I actually just used in my 4th of July makeup tutorial. It is so pretty and I love the formula. I have two Kat Von D eyeshadow palettes. This is the Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. Such unique packaging. When I purchased this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that just because of the packaging. I don't really use it as much as I need to because the quality is really good, but it's just, it's kind of awkward to use because I feel like the eyeshadows are a bit scattered. And then I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light, I believe this is the Glitter eye contour palette. So it's similar to the original one, but they made all these shades glittery, so I really liked this eyeshadow palette. Then I have a bunch of Juvia's Place eyeshadows, so I have the two taller eyeshadow palettes that they have from Juvia's Place. If you have not tried Juvia's Place, I don't know what you're waiting for. These are the best. The pigmentation is out of this world. I love the color combinations and the pigmentation is amazing. So yeah, I just have a bunch of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. Next, I have three ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. These are like the pre-made eyeshadow palettes, except one is in collaboration with that girl Shay, I think her YouTube name is. But these are what they look like. I absolutely love the ColourPop formula. And they just give you such a different range of eyeshadows. And then basically the rest of these are all beige cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So I have the two Carly Bible eyeshadow palettes. 
at the Royal Affair eyeshadow palette, the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival eyeshadow palette. This one is freaking beautiful. It's my Ray Ray in BH Cosmetics. This one is random, but I just decided to add it in here. It's the Pure Festival palette. We got this in a BoxyCharm, and it's really stunning as well. And this is the BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. I believe this one was the 2019, and this one was the 2018, I'm pretty sure. But then the last palette in here is the Beach Cosmetics. I just call it the 26 color eyeshadow and blush palette because I really don't know what that word is, but something neutrals. But this is what it looks like. And that is my large eyeshadow drawer. And then right here are two bigger drawers that are in my desk. This is the first one. I still have my makeup cloth right here. And then I have four of these totes that I got from Walmart. They're like 99 cents. In this first one, I keep all my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I told you I have a lot of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I like to purchase them because they're affordable, really good quality, and I just love them. I think they're unique, different, and just beautiful. So I have the California Love, the Sweet Nothing, the Yes Please palette, Elements of Surprise, You Had Me at Hello, the Sweet Talk palette, and then I have some of their bigger collaborations through my eyes, and the Perception palette. And then way in the back, I just use this in a tutorial. It's the Zoella and ColourPop Brunch Date Palette. Then I have the two Kathleen Lights and ColourPop palettes, the Dream Street and the Zodiac. These are my favorite from ColourPop. This one was limited edition. It's the My Little Pony in ColourPop. This one is also one of my favorite. This is the ColourPop Good Sport eyeshadow palette. And then you have Give It To Me Straight, the Salvaje palette, the... She palette. Then I have the ColourPop Disney Princess palette and the ColourPop Villains palette. And then I have the Chasing Rainbows palette. This is so pretty. I love those colors. And then these two, I don't think they're around anymore. This is All I See is Magic. And then the last one is Golden State of Mind. And then in this one, it's also ColourPop. It I have all of their colorful eyeshadow palettes over here. The only one I don't have is the new orange one. I did not purchase that one yet, but I have all the rest of them. So we've been like the brown sugar palette and the proceed with caution palette. Then I have two small eyeshadow palettes. This is Make Up Your Mind and Pretty Much. I have the Bretman and ColourPop Lit and Wet palette. I have some highlighting palettes. So these are the smaller highlighting palettes. This is the Dream Sequence, the Creme de la Creme, and the Crush on You. This one is the Gimme More highlighting palette and the In Nudendo highlighting palette. Then I have three blush palettes. I love their blushes and the pan size is enormous, so I think it's totally worth the money. So I just decided to purchase a whole bunch of their blushes. Kathleen Lights kind of made that decision for me because these are Kathleen Lights blushes. I was so in love with them that I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go on ColourPop website and order a lot more, so that's what I did. And these are the Makeup by Shayla in ColourPop blushes so I just decided to add those in there so this is kind of like my collab blush palette but that's what I have in these two containers just ColourPop of course you guys know how obsessed I am with ColourPop and then this bottom one here is filled can you see that filled with Juno and Co sponges I had no other place to put them so I just decided to make space in one of these containers that's all my Juno and Co sponges. That's how obsessed I am with this sponge. I am obsessive, okay? When I like a product, I purchase like a thousand of them. And then in this, I have just flushful wipes. I use them to wipe down my vanity because everybody's vanity gets a little dirty with makeup sometimes. So I have a bunch. All right, and then over in this area, I have all of my Morphe palettes. 
I have a little basket in here that holds some makeup wipes and just some wipes that I can wipe down my desk with. So that's what I have right here. I have a candle. This is the Marshmallow Fireside. It's my favorite Bath and Body Works candle ever. And then I have my remotes that run my TV up here. Some Kleenexes. But these are all my Morphe palettes. So I have the Morphe 25L, I think that's what it's called. But they sent me a new one because my black broke. So that is back here if you can see it. So this is the... 3502. That's what this one looks like. I'm so sad because my favorite shade in here broke. Then I have the 35B. Now this one's not being around anymore, but I'm so glad that I got my hands on this because it is stunning. I love this and I think they did repeat colors in the 25L palette. So if you do not have the 35B, Definitely pick up the 25L if it's still around. I don't know if this was limited edition either. Morphe, can you keep your colorful eyeshadow palettes like not limited edition? Just keep them around for everybody to have. Then this one is the 35F palette. And I really like this one because it gives you four rows of shimmer and then one row of matte. And then this one is the 35O palette. This is the original and then they made the 3502 and I think the 350M and the 350S. And then these three are a little bit newer because they do have newer packaging. As you can tell, these kind of have like rounded edges. But this is the 35H. I haven't even used this one, guys, but look how freaking beautiful that is. Then this one is the 35M palette. I haven't used this one either, guys. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Look how freaking gorgeous that palette is. These greens, like, scream my name. And these maroon shades, oh my god. I don't know why I haven't used this palette because it's just so stunning. I love it. And then this palette is the 35V palette. I did use this palette once and I used it for my birthday makeup tutorial. As you guys can probably tell, Morphe and ColourPop are my two favorite makeup brands. I just love their eyeshadows so much. Such great quality for such an affordable price. This eyeshadow palette is used and abused. I love everything about this eyeshadow palette. You've got your cool tones, you got warm tones, you got your neutrals. If I were to tell you to get one eyeshadow palette out of my whole collection, get this one. Jaclyn Hill did a freaking amazing job on this palette, and I love it so much. It's the 35G Bronze Goals palette. Look at that packaging. That packaging is so beautiful, but I also really enjoyed this one. I know this one, for some reason, didn't get that good of reviews, but I really don't know why, because to me, it's normal Morphe eyeshadows, like the quality, but I really liked it. I actually used this palette for my engagement pictures because it was just so bronzy and fun and I really like it. I think it's a really good palette. I have two of the 24G Grand Glam palette, but this is what the inside looks like and I really like it. This is such a fun, like, Valentine's eyeshadow palette. And for some reason, the pan size is bigger in this palette than any of the other palettes. Then I have this ginormous palette. This is the Morphe 39S palette. I love this palette so freaking much. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I use this palette all the time. I cannot get over how stunning each and every shade is. Then I love this palette. This is the 39A Dare to Create palette. I'm so, so glad that they made this permanent because if they didn't, that would be a huge mistake to Morphe because this palette is everything. This one is my second favorite from Morphe, coming in second to Jaclyn Hill. So the last big palette is the Morphe and James Charles palette. Now this is quite a popular palette. But honestly, it's not my favorite and I definitely would not recommend it to any new beginners because it is pretty difficult to use in my opinion. It's just most of them are pressed pigments so you have to apply them to your eyes in a certain way otherwise they're not going to work. 
So I would definitely try to get your hands on maybe a 35B palette or the 25L palette. You can probably find them on Amazon or eBay. I would definitely choose those over this one. And then off in this little corner, I have three small Morphe palettes, my favorite. This is the Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. If this was still around, this would be my favorite eyeshadow palette from Morphe. I have used this so much. It is used and abused. I've hit pan on a couple of them, but it's such a good eyeshadow palette. I really wish they made this permanent because it's a staple for me. And then I have the 15S eyeshadow palette. I believe this was for one of their holiday collections. It just has a whole bunch of cool tone eyeshadows in it and it's really stunning as well. And then the Morphe 15T eyeshadow palette. And this is more of their warm tone eyeshadow palette that came out for the holidays. And that's pretty much what I keep in this big first drawer. Just my ColourPop products and my Morphe eyeshadow palettes. So this is what's in my second drawer. I'm not going to go through it because it is a mess. I pretty much just keep leftover Mary Kay products from when I was in Mary Kay. I keep a whole bunch of nail supplies and then in this tote is all my nail polishes. So that's what is in the bottom drawer. Alright, so next over here by my closet is my makeup tower that I actually got from Hobby Lobby. And then my makeup shelf right here that I've actually had for so long that I don't know where I've got it. But we're going to go into this makeup tower next. So right on top here, I got this holder from Eek's Office Solutions when I worked there. But right in a row, I have the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collab. So this is where the light is, where the night is, and the twinkling lights. I love Kathleen Lights, so I had to put her collabs right in front. And then I have the Marc Jacobs highlight. My favorite one and worth the wait. And right behind that, I have the Makeup Revolution blush palette. Over here I have the Mary Kay Makeup Setting Spray and the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And then I just purchased this. This is the Jouer 6 Shade Blush Palette. I have been on a blush kick lately. I absolutely love blush lately so I just had to purchase this because I thought it was stunning. And then I got the What's Your Favorite Position CEO oh 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 oh. <laughs> It's by Lily Lashes and Sephora, and it's kind of reminds me of the Smashbox contour kit because they have a bronzer, contour, two highlights, and two blushes, but I think it was so beautiful that I decided to purchase it. And then behind that is just my Mary Kay blushes and bronzer palette. And then over to the side is my ColourPop and Alexis Rin bronzer and highlight duo. I purchased this because of Jaclyn Hill. I actually had to purchase this from someone on the Macara app because this does not exist anymore on the ColourPop website, which is a shame because it's a beautiful bronzer and beautiful highlight. I wish it was still around. This is really good. And then behind that, I have my LMR Cosmetics Blush Trio, which is really stunning. I love this blush palette. And then for the rest of the stuff, it's pretty much just decor. I mean, I have a wine glass that says girly girl with the lipstick. I have a picture of my old dog Snickers from when he was a puppy. All right, are you guys ready for this? This is a little overwhelming. This is my primers in my liquid highlight drawer. Please don't judge me, okay? So all the products in the front are all primers, so I have the Ordinary Primer, I have one by Lancome, by NARS, this one by Dr. Brandt, my new love of my life, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. You guys have all seen this, but I love it so much. Dupes for it would be like the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just purchased the Tarte Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm, so I haven't used it yet. I just purchased that, but it might be a dupe for the Tatcha. I don't know yet. I also got the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. Do you guys remember this? This is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Everybody on YouTube used to use this for primer. I still got mine. I still use it. I have the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die for Primer. 
e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, the ColourPop Primer, Touch and Soul Primer, the Milk Hydro Primer, one of my favorites. I am a sucker for primers as well. I love primers. I think they can do a lot to help your makeup last all day. Behind that is my liquid highlights. I don't go into these too often. I really like my powder highlights more. I got a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one's in Moonstone and this one is in Opal. I got some from Rimmel. I got a lot of these like in Boxy Charms actually. So like the Jelly Pong Pong, the Beauty Crop. I also purchased the Revlon Endless Glow. I have the Cover Effects Glitter Drops, one from Tarte, Sonia Kashik. They're just, they're all random guys, but that is my liquid highlights and my primers. Next is my concealers and powder drawer. I'm a concealer hoarder. I love concealers. Like, look at this. My favorites are the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I also have one by L'Oreal, Jouer, my Tarte Shape Tape, Urban Decay, e.l.f. CoverGirl, Kat Von B, another e.l.f. one, Milani, Too Faced, this is a new one. I just picked this one up yesterday. It's new by CoverGirl, Flower Beauty, another e.l.f. one, Rimmel. I really think if you conceal underneath your eyes, it just makes a world of difference, at least for me. It covers up my dark circles, so that's why I am addicted to concealers so much. Now for pressed powders, I have two ColourPop pressed powders. One from MAC, Flower Beauty, It Cosmetics, It Cosmetics. Too Faced, another one from It Cosmetics. This is my favorite. It's the Celebration Foundation. Elf Hat Von D, which is a really good one. Number 7, Neutrogena, Catrice, and L'Oreal. Elf Estee Lauder, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Went Wild, another Went Wild one. CoverGirl, CoverGirl, Mary Kay. Pure Minerals. The last one is by NYX. So those are my pressed powders and my concealers. Next is bronzers. Yes, I have a lot of bronzers as well. So I just purchased this one last night. It's the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer in the shade 01. So I'm excited to get into this one. Then I have my Morphe Icon Bronzer. I love this so much. My Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this bronzer. Then I have Too Faced Soulmates Bronzer. I have one from Pretty Vulgar. I have two from Went Wild. This one from Elf and this one from Sephora. I just purchased these two so I haven't used them yet. Of course I have Hula by Benefit. I have one from Maybelline. This one didn't really wow me that much but I kept it anyways. This one's from Physician's Formula. I have a backup of the Butter Bronzer. Then this is by Hard Candy. NYX, Cover FX, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is my favorite. One from number seven, L'Oreal. Another number seven. And this one is also a favorite. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer and Sweet Tea. That's what that looks like. It is stunning. Then way in the back here is a L'Oreal bronzer, which I've had for a long time. I even hit pan on it. I have one by It Cosmetics. I've had this for so long, and I don't even know if I used it yet. I really need to, because it's beautiful. Then I have the Wen Wild Contouring Palette. I have the e.l.f. Contour Kit, which I just kind of like rediscovered. And I have two older Wen Wild Color Icon bronzers, but they are really good. And then over here, I have Revlon Bronzer and Bronzilla. I was addicted to this, but I don't even know if they have this bronzer anymore, which is really sad. And I have the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in In The Sun. I really like this for like a contouring. Of course, a butter bronzer, but I hit pan like majorly on this. I have two ColourPop bronzers. This one is in Afternoon Delight. As you can see, I use that one quite often. 
And then this one is in Private Party, which I actually just purchased this one. I was obsessed with this for so long. This is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie bronzer. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And then I have a Milani baked bronzer. This one is from MAC like a long time ago. But I love the packaging of it, it's so pretty. Then I have another Physician's Formula one. This one is so old. I've had this since I started my makeup collection. This is the NYC bronzer. Do you guys remember that? That is so old. NYC doesn't even like exist at my Walmart anymore. I have one from MAC, one from Model Co. There's one from Pure in Bobbi Brown. And NYC, this one is just as old as the other one. I used to use this every single day of my life. This is what I wore every day through high school. This is my blushes drawer. I know, I purchased this all by myself. I do not have any brands send me any PR or anything like that. All of this makeup has come out of my own pocket, just so you guys know. So these are all my Revlon blushes. I was addicted to the Revlon blushes for so long. I just think they are so good and so affordable. And then here are my Milani blushes. I used to have every single one, but I kind of did declutter and I got rid of some that didn't match my skin tone. They were like way too dark for me. So I have some over here. These are by NYX. They are the ombre blushes. I have the Cindy Luminizer because this is just way too pink to be a highlight on me. I have two blushes from Wet Wild. They are also the ombre blushes. I have three of the rose blushes from Milani. And then my favorite blush from the drugstore is the Burt's Bees blush in Shy Pink. This is so good. I love it. Then this is the Rimmel Maxi blush that I just purchased and the e.l.f. primer blush in Always Rosy that I just purchased. Over here I have a Physician's Formula blush in Natural Glow. Then right here I have a whole bunch of my NYX blushes. Then over here I just have a whole bunch of random blushes. I have one from CoverGirl, L'Oreal, and Fantastical. This one is by Pretty Vulgar. This one is by Studio Makeup, Essence, NYX, e.l.f., Pure, DLS, Makeup Geek, Essence. Then in the way back of the drawer, I have a whole bunch of blushes from Wet n Wild. Pretty much in every single color. And then these blushes are from Bare Minerals. I have some blushes from L'Oreal. Then over here I have a vintage blush. This one is from Clinique. And then a Bobbi Brown blush right there. So I've been so addicted to blush lately. So I'm always grabbing a new blush in here. But I really think all the blushes I have in here are a staple. And I love the formula of all of them. Then in here, are you guys ready? This is probably my most insane drawer out of all of them. These are my highlights. And for someone that has oily skin, I shouldn't have this many highlights. So here are all my Becca highlights. I have Champagne Pop, I have Pearl, Prosecco Pop, Moonstone, Opal, Gradient Glow, and Vanilla Quartz. Then right here I have all my ColourPop highlights. So those are in Talk, Sylphus Play, I don't really know that word. Dreamscape, Pat It Down, Here Kitty Kitty, Swipe Right, and then two from the Villains Collection. So I have You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles, and in Mistress of All Evil. I have three highlights from Ofra. It's like a struggle to get these highlights out because they are so jammed packed. So I have Blissful, Rodeo Drive, and Glazed Donut, which is my absolute favorite. I need like five backups of this because it's amazing. And then this last one is by Laura Mercier. It's their Matte Radiance Baked Powder in 01. It's definitely not matte, but it is baked, but it's a very beautiful, everyday, natural glow highlight. Then right here, I have one by Stila. This is like a 
cushiony highlight. It's in the shade Kitten. I love this one so much. Then I have one by Bobbi Brown. I have one by Jouer in Citrine. This one used to be an oldie but a goodie on YouTube, but everyone's has shattered, so I don't know if they had it anymore. It's a very, like, delicate formula. I have also this one by Ofra. I got this one in a boxy charm. It's just says blush strips illuminating this one is by essence this is absolutely stunning it's just such a natural highlight i just got this one this is the j cats beauty you glow girl highlight in crystal sand kathleen lights had this in one of her favorites so i had to pick it up this is by Melt cosmetics i actually got this because of kathleen lights also it's in the shade stargazer it is so beautiful. Then I have the Mary Luminizer, one by e.l.f., another one by e.l.f. I have some bigger ones here. This is Bobbi Brown in Pink Glow, and this one is Fair Minerals in Fair to Light, and this one is by Makeup Geek. So back here, I have one from Maybelline. It's in the shade 250. This is the one that Nikki Tutorials and Maybelline collabed on. One of my favorite highlights ever. Nikki Tutorials just knows how to do highlights. They are all stunning. I have one by Lorac. I have two by Tarte. I have this one by Wen Wild. It is so beautiful. It's from their Zodiac collection. It's in the shade Written in the Stars. I have two from MAC. And all of these are from Wet n Wild. This one from Physicians Formula, two from Makeup Revolution, this one from Ulta, and this last one here is from Pure. Now way in the back, this is kind of just products that didn't fit in a line very well, so I kind of just stuffed them back here. But this is the Makeup Revolution Triple Bait Highlight in Goddess of Faith, which is stunning. I kind of had to take the packaging apart because it's so bulky. And when it fit in here, this is the Wen Wild Highlighter in Crystal High, which I just purchased. I have the Urban Decay Naked Illuminator. This one from Makeup Forever. I have two from Wen Wild. I was going to give these away, but I decided to keep them and try them out. I have some minis from Becca. I have some e.l.f. baked highlights. And as you can see, I have a bunch of a bunch of ColourPop Super Shock highlights. They are one of my favorite highlights. So this is my insane highlighter drawer, but I absolutely love it. I, for some reason, have been so into highlighting my face. I have oily skin, but highlights are also my weakness. All right, the next drawer is my mascaras. So I have three different bins here. This big bin over here is all my brand new unused mascaras. So all of them that I have not opened, not used. This one, I'd have to say is my bin filled with my favorite mascaras. So I have my Tarte Tardish Lash Paint Mascara. I have my Lancome Monster Big Mascara, of course. I love this mascara so much. And this one over here is used mascaras, but they are my minis, or they're mascaras I don't really like. I know, who does that? Who, like, categorizes by products they like and don't like, but that's how I do it. So I just got a whole bunch of mini mascaras over here. And then in the front are all my ColourPop mascaras. They could not fit in my favorites mascara bin because it's so small, so I had to put them up here and they are one of my favorites. I love ColourPop mascaras. They are so fun. They make your lashes so voluminous and they come in so many different colors. Now for the next drawer is my lip products. Believe it or not, I really don't reach into this drawer that often just because I'm so obsessed with my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick, but I still have a lot of lip products. So these are all the All May lip glosses right here. I have some random bullet lipsticks from Mary Kay. I have some Revlon lip glosses. In the back, I have a whole bunch of Revlon bullet lipsticks in different colors. 
all the lip products in between are like lip balms or chapsticks and then back here are random liquid lipsticks and then in this bin right here i have the wet wild liquid cat suits and i have quite a bit of those i got these weird colors for free when they sent me my package but i bought like some more neutral colors because i'm all about that neutral life but then i have some maybelline vivid matte liquid lipsticks some ofra liquid lipsticks over here some more ofra liquid lipsticks right here and some revlon ultra hd matte liquid lipsticks right here so that's pretty much what's in my lip drawer not too crazy not too insane about this drawer but i have it next drawer is my glitters and my single shadows and my liquid eyeshadows. I have my ColourPop Glittery Obsessed glitters. I have some Stila liquid eyeshadows. A lot of these are just like liquid eyeshadows or like glittery pens. I have my ColourPop eyeshadows right over here. These are all my loose single eyeshadows that I use occasionally but not that much. I mean I'd rather just grab an eyeshadow palette than a single eyeshadow but I do like the L'Oreal single shadows. They are beautiful and so pigmented. So if I do want a specific color I always go to this drawer. For the next drawer and this is a deeper drawer. This is my smaller eyeshadow palette drawer and it's filled to the brim any extra eyeshadow palettes in here that do not fit in my other drawer but now nothing fits in this drawer but i was gonna declutter these but i decided to keep them because i paid for them so i might as well keep them and also along with this one i didn't have a place to put it but this is the wet wild highlighting palette then i have the two lorog zipped palettes so i have the balm nude beach eyeshadow palette this is the only one I have by the balm because I really just think the colors are more suited for me. I like the maroons and the browns, so I really enjoy this palette. Then I have the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette, and I've had this since the start of my channel. This was one of the first palettes I ever purchased, and this is what the inside looks like. The eyeshadows are like a satiny matte. It is so beautiful, and I love pairing this with like an all glitter or all satin palette. It is just a really good palette to have. Then I have the Dose of Colors, which is in collaboration with Desi and Katie. This is the Friendcation palette. I have never used this yet either and I don't know what I'm waiting for because this is so hyped about and so well loved by so many YouTubers that I need to get it out and use it. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I think I used this once or twice. I have to play with it more. It's not like my favorite but I mean it's not bad at all. I just don't know if it's worth the price tag to me. I'm pretty sure this might be my first ever palette. This is by Bare Minerals and I don't even know what it's called. It's like some kind of magic act but it has four blushes in here and then it has six eyeshadows. So it's really travel friendly. I mean you get really good neutral blushes and some really neutral eyeshadows. This is the LMR Cosmetics first eyeshadow palette. This is absolutely stunning and I love it so much. I got these two Tarte eyeshadow palettes in BoxyCharms. And then underneath those eyeshadow palettes, I have all these eyeshadow palettes from BoxyCharm. I have some Wet n Wild trios. And then I have the Makeup Revolution Fierce as Fire eyeshadow palette. This is one of my first eyeshadow palettes ever as well. In fact, this may be the very first one that I ever purchased. This is the Pure Soul Matte eyeshadow palette. Now these next ones are all by CoverGirl. So I have the CoverGirl True Naked Sunsets, the Peach Punch, Jewels, Roses, Nudes, and Goldens. This is the Marc Jacobs Scandalous eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I have some e.l.f. Prism palettes and Mad for Matte palettes. I have some mini Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. These are the first four that she ever came out with. 
so this palette right here is really special to me. This is a Persona Identity palette. It's special to me because Matt purchased it for me when we first met. And that's because we have a dog and his name is Maverick. And this shade is called Maverick. So he purchased this palette for me and I love it so much. Right here I have three Z palettes but I rarely use them. Coastal Scents in them and my Mary Kay eyeshadow palettes. This is also really special to me as well because Matt purchased this for me. It's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I have two Urban Decay palettes that are no longer in store. I think they were made by some artist. And I have the Urban Decay After Dark and the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Now, into the bottom one is basically just all my backups of stuff. So I'm not going to go through it, but that is my backup stuff. Next is my white shelf here, and I love this shelf because, first off, it's white and just so clean. But I have more expensive eyeshadow palettes right here. So I have my Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette, Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, the Lila Palette, the Purple Blue Palette, and the Brown Green Palette. I also have some Sephora Pro palettes back here. So this is the Editorial 2 palette, the Editorial palette, and the Warm palette. And as you can see, I have an extra Jaclyn Hill palette. Alright, and this is just an empty Jaclyn Hill vault collection box. There is nothing in here. I just keep it because I think it looks pretty and I think it goes with her first palette. And right below that, I have more lip products. So over here in this container, I have all my NYX liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, anything that has to do with NYX and it's a lip product goes right in here. And then right here in front is all my lip liner pencil. But behind that, I have a lot of extra brushes. And then I have a mason jar behind there too, and these hold my Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. And then in this jar I have my Lip Sense liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. This is a pencil holder and it holds two of my ColourPop lippy sticks. And then behind there I have another jar. And by the way, I get most of these jars at Hobby Lobby and I put all my Rimmel Pro Rock lips in here. And then I have two candles from Bath & Body Works. And then behind that I have a whole jar of some Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Lip Balms, and then the other ones are by Rimmel Color Rush. And then the next shelf is all my perfumes and body mist. This is the bottom shelf. I wanted to display some of my other makeup since I didn't know where else to put it. So that's exactly what I did with like my ColourPop Loose Pigments and also the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed loose glitters so i just think it looks really cute just sitting here displayed because this is such a big packaging i mean don't get me wrong i love the kathleen lights and color pop collab but it's huge and it's really hard to store so this is a good spot for it then i just have a little candle right here and then over here i got this letter holder but i call it a palette holder at the container store and i put all of my naked palettes in here so I have my Naked palette, my Naked 2 palette, my Naked 3 palette, my Naked Heat palette, and my Naked Cherry palette. Alright, so I think that completes my makeup collection. All my dogs are just sitting here being so cute and patient, but I hope you guys all really enjoyed this makeup collection and organization. If I missed anything or didn't mention where I got like an organization thing from, just comment down below and I will gladly answer that for you. Yeah, I am so happy to get this recorded for you guys and I hope you guys just really enjoy it. This room means so much to me. I've worked really hard for this collection. I don't get makeup sent to me. I purchase this all myself. It's not just for YouTube. It's because I love makeup so much. It's such a deep passion and hobby for me. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. And hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon. I will probably still be on my Instagram. So make sure to hook me up there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Love you guys. Bye!